Hi guys, so every industry seems to be impacted by Brexit. Recently there was a story in the news about how a chicken restaurant chain was running out of supplies because of a lack of drivers. Sadly, most media outlets failed to mention Brexit in their analysis, including the BBC. Well, while people who voted for Brexit, in particular farmers, fishermen and exporters, were turkeys voting for Christmas, it looks like UK poultry producers are warning of a lack of turkeys for Christmas due to Brexit. Two Sisters Food Group, which is one of the UK's largest suppliers of supermarket chicken, along with Kelly Bronze Turkeys, are saying that one in six jobs were currently unfilled because EU workers had left the UK after Brexit. Just like the head of the Food and Drink Body and the Road Haulage Association, the British Poultry Council has written to the Home Secretary Priti Patel asking for her department to relax immigration restrictions. They sent the letter to the hardliner minister at the beginning of August, but have yet to receive a response. The poultry industry employs almost four times as many as the fishing industry at about 40,000. They are currently facing a shortfall of 7,000 vacancies. In order to cope, the producers are planning to cut the size of their product range and reduce weekly output by about 10%. As producers will not be able to find the usual number of seasonal workers, supply of turkey for Christmas will be 20% lower. A representative for the industry said that those producing turkeys will likely opt to grow fewer birds as they will not be sure about having sufficient staff levels to process them. This will mean that there will be a massive shortage because turkey producers will not want to have extra supply after Christmas as they can't sell it. In regards to chicken, Nando's, a UK-wide chain of 450 restaurants, are closing 10% of them due to the shortage of key components. The company is moving staff around in order to help deal with the fallout of the heavy goods vehicle driver shortage. Another major chain, KFC, said that they're facing disruption to their food and packaging stocks all over Britain. Notice I said Britain here, not the UK. Reports coming from Northern Ireland say that neither Nando's nor KFC are facing shortages. Perhaps this is another benefit of the Northern Ireland Protocol. The founder of Two Sisters recently said that the pandemic, which had forced a large number of healthy workers to self-isolate, had in an effect hidden the crisis that is Brexit. His company has a workforce of about 16,000, who mostly work in chicken and ready meal production, and has a staff shortage of 15%. This company has been hit by both a staff shortage of foreign factory workers, but also a rise in the cost of ingredients, wage increases, and COVID-related absenteeism. The trade union Unite said, however, the real problem is not Brexit or the pandemic, but the terrible paying conditions in the meat processing industry. It is regarded as one of the worst jobs in Britain. Due to the nature of the work, it relies mainly on people in the local area. This has generally seen European workers flock to small towns and cities to work in these industries. However, when these people are no longer available, it is difficult to hire British people as many are unwilling to put up with the poor pay and conditions. The silver lining from this could be that pay and conditions may rise as employers become more and more desperate for staff. However, the flip side of this is that all of this will have to be paid for, paid for in higher prices at the supermarket, in turn hurting the poor and the working class the most. Brexit, as I've said before, will harm those on low and fixed incomes in the long term. Let me know in the comments section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.